Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to construct a normal distribution curve given the mean and standard deviation. Before we take this first example right here, let's have a review on normal distribution curve. The normal curve is sometimes called as the bell curve because the shape of this curve is like a bell. Now notice that the center of this normal curve is the mean and this mean divides this curve into two parts. We have the left side and then we have the right side. Now again notice that this left and right side are symmetric to each other. Symmetric means if I fold this curve on this side this way through the mean as the axis of symmetry, these sides are going to be on top of each other so that we call these two sides are symmetric to each other. Now notice another important feature of this normal curve. These ends or these tails that we have here are asymptotic. Asymptotic means they are approaching closer and closer to this horizontal line but they're not going to touch it. They, they are asymptotic. So this is like the asymptote. This horizontal line is the asymptote. It's just going to get closer and closer to it, but it's not going to touch it. Now, another important feature for this normal curve is that it is divided into parts or segments. So um, from the mean, if we go down here, this line that I have created here is one standard deviation below the mean. Now standard deviation is a number that tells us how deviated. Deviated means how spread apart are the values. So this is one standard deviation below the mean that's to the left. And so this other line right here is two standard deviation below the mean. Now we can add some more around here. That's the th uh, three standard deviation below the mean. On the other side, uh, going up to the right, that's going to be one standard deviation above the mean. And this is two standard deviation above the mean. So that's the normal curve right there. We always go back to this normal curve whenever we get a data that says the data is normally distributed or there's a normal distribution of the given data, then we use and go back to this idea of the normal curve. Okay, so let's take this first example right here. Sketch the normal distribution curve if the mean is 48 and the standard deviation is 13. So first thing that we're going to do is to construct the bell curve. Okay, so looking at the problem that we have here, the mean is 48, so 48 has to sit in the middle of this normal curve, so I can label this as 48. And then it's, it says here that the standard deviation is 13, so one standard deviation below the mean would be 48 minus 13 is 35. So again, I will show the work down here how I get the uh, 35, so that is 48 minus the standard deviation, which is 13, and that's how I got the 35. And then to get the uh, two standard deviation below the mean, that would be uh, 22 here. And so I got the 22 by subtracting 35 minus um, 13. So that's how I got the 22. Now the next one right here going up would be uh, from 48, one standard deviation above the mean is 61 and then two standard deviation above the mean is 74. Now how did I get these values? So it's going to be the opposite of this. So instead of subtracting, I'm going to add 13. So that would be 48 plus 13 and that's how I got the 61. And then to get the 74, 61 plus 13 is 74. So that's how I got these values. Now we're ready to answer these questions that we have on the side here. What value is one standard deviation below the mean? So this is the mean. So I'm going to label this as the mean right here. One standard deviation below the mean is 35. So I'm going to write 35 right here. And then two standard deviation above the mean. So that's the mean, one standard deviation. 
two standard deviations, so this is 74. And then three standard deviation below the mean, I can go ahead and extend some more somewhere around here. This is the third or three standard deviation below the mean. So what I would do is I will subtract 22 by 13. So this is nine. Again, I got the nine by. Okay, so the value that we have here would be nine. So this number right here is nine. Okay, at this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. The height of first graders is normally distributed with a mean of 37 inches and standard deviation of two. Create a normal distribution curve. So what are we gonna do is we create the bell curve. Okay, the mean that we have here is 37, so I'm gonna write 37 right here. Uh, one standard deviation below the mean, since the standard deviation is two, so this would be 35, and this would be 33. And then going up, 37 plus two would be 39, and this is 41. So if we wanna answer the rest of these here, what is the height of first grader that is one standard deviation below the mean is 35. Okay, and then what is the height of a first grader that is two standard deviation above the mean is 41, because again, this is our mean right here. This is one standard deviation above the mean. This is two standard deviation above the mean, so that is 41. Did you get 35 and 41 as your answer to this problem right here? Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.